Hello, beautiful souls. I have been guided to do a June energy reading card pull. And um, I have been drawn to my, my Merkaba. I've been holding on to this for a few hours now. It just feels right. Um, the cards I was guided to use for today's reading. Um, Kyle Gray's The Keeper of the Light. This is a favorite for many, many people. Kyle Gray, Angels and Ancestors. Another favorite of mine for sure. I hope you enjoy it as well. And Izzy Ivy, Beyond Lemuria. I always like to give a message from the cosmos. And this is just a, a card um, that actually gives the message. It's not really interpreted, but I usually tend to add on to it a little bit. So those would be the four cards that I pull from. I will get set and I'll be right back with you. Remove all negative energy from this deck. I call on the angels, the ancestors, the archangels, ascendant masters, source creator, Mother Sophia, soul guides and extensions. What is the now moment message? <clears throat> Pulling in the June 2024 energy for the collective. Now moment message going forward seven earth days. June energy message for the collective. If you have not seen a reading from me before, um, I use my pendulum just to verify that the cards that I'm pulling are the cards that are ready and accurate energetically for this reading. I'm doing an Oracle reading for June energy for the collective. Is this the card for the collective? Is this the card for the collective? Is this card for the collective? Is this card for the collective? You show the audience a no. And my circles are yeses and nos are straight up and down. Let's see what we have from the Lemurians, my people, probably your people too. Awakened awareness, card number 17. So we know that there's a vast shift of awakening right now. It is really moving in ripples and waves. Um, I know that as a collective, a lot of people that um, have kind of been on the fence are really stepping forward and saying, this does not make sense. This is not add up, not in my life, not in anyone's life. There's chaos everywhere. Someone come clean. So awakened awareness is just a, a nod to say, absolutely. We are aware that there's a lot more going on in our lives with the sacred geometry than we ever appreciated before. The beauty of sacred geometry, in my opinion, is that when you see a connection, that dot, that the precursor happened a long time ago, you didn't understand it at the time. And now in this now moment, the, the other dot gets connected and you go, oh, oh yeah, now I understand why I went through that. Now I understand why that happened or why I met that person or why that person left. Now I see uh, the completion of that energy. Awakened awareness. It's an excellent place for the collective to be. It's where you are receptive to truth and you ask and you shall receive. Radical expansion. This has been um, a big message coming in from our guides. And we have dragon energy and Right now, I know that a lot of people in this awakened awareness are understanding that a lot of the things that have been labeled um, mythic or 
imagination or crazy are actually showing themselves to be true. It is a matter of the frequency that we have within our being. As our frequency rises, we are able to see, sense, feel, taste, and touch things that we cannot in a lower vibration because they don't exist there. Dragon energy is healing energy. It's also magic and it's very, very strong. We work with dragons all the time. Every single being that is, arrives on the planet is given a fire dragon and that fire dragon's with you throughout your entire life. When we go through clearings and energy readings and energy sessions, I am working with your fire dragon to help give a boost to the healing because they have the abilities to heal things like no other. And for the radical expansion to occur of our mind, we need to heal. We need to do shadow work of our heart. We need to heal. We need to do shadow work of our throat chakras from being kept silent and censored for so long. We need to heal and do that shadow work. The expansion is taking place. The dragon is going to help you heal and open doors to make it not so gut wrenching. Hopefully high heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. And here you'll see that the, the two birds at the bottom are symbolic of, of uh, twin flames. They're also symbolic of duality, but they are balanced at the heart chakra and everything rises up out of it. They're even and equal. One is not bigger. One is not higher. One is not lower. They're balanced. Divine feminine, divine masculine with a healed inner child is also coming through. This is really important. The high heart is also known as a thymus chakra, high heart. And this is really like when we go through that radical expansion, we're going to be boosting our heart chakra um, filtering. We are going to open it wide. We're going to open ourselves up to a heart perspective to approach things in our awakened and aware state now from our heart perspective, the heart perspective allows for the expansion because you have to get out of the mindset because the mind is fully manipulated and full of lies. The high heart helps you see that the energy that we can set forth through our heart chakra is limitless and it is also integral in growth. And the more that you open your heart chakra and you, you approach things from a heart chakra, chakra perspective, you are embodying divine feminine characteristics, first of all, that you're nurturing and you're loving. And even when things are not necessarily kosher, you approach from your heart space, then you have compassion, kindness, understanding, love, and love is the key to healing. High heart chakra, opening your high heart chakra, being aware of the high heart chakra, being aware of the balance between uh, duality. Not everything is all good. Not everything is all bad. There has to be a balance in between. And it's the balance that you find growth. <clears throat> Balanced forces. I can't make this up. Balance is the key to growing. When we go through our inner child healing and the heart is no more walled up, it's able to feel and experience and receive love. This is a huge thing in the collective. It's been a huge thing in my own life. And it's it's been a matter of survival for a long time. We've had our, our inner child very walled off and protected. And that goes along with our heart. So cognitively, you love people, you care about people, you do want to do the right thing, but you're not feeling the emotion that goes along with these relationships fully and completely because of lack of trust, because of trauma in the past, because this is a safe space and you don't want anybody to be here. But the beauty is, is that whenever you have a balanced divine feminine, divine masculine and healed inner child, and this is not two beings, this is all within you. Every being with a soul has a balanced divine masculine, balanced divine feminine, healed inner child. That's the complete healing picture. Do you walk into ascension with that? No, you do not. 
No, you do not. You become awakened and aware that healing needs to occur. You understand that the things you went through in your life have been for you to grow. And then you go stepping through your radical expansion of growth. You go through your shadow work. You ask your dragons to help you heal. You heal out your energy bodies. You get rid of the distortions. And then you can see, sense, feel, taste, and smell truth. That is where your high heart chakra comes in, where you're able to let the love in in a balanced way. So when you have to take action from the divine masculine, you have it. When you have to when you have to be nurturing and loving from the divine feminine, you have it. And when the opportunity presents itself to be joyful and blissful and play like dolphins, your healed inner child allows you to do that without any guilt, shame, blame, or any of that. Balanced forces. When we are in balance, our power is amplified because one is not compensating for the other and you're able to zoom up in your frequency. This is where souls are leveling up and you become unstoppable. I love that card. Remove all negative energy from this deck. We're going to go to the keepers of the light oracle. Calling in the angels, the ancestors, the archangels, soul emissaries and extensions, guides, Mother Sophia, source creator. What is the message for the June energy for the collective? These are new and they just stick together. I'm sorry, I apologize. Is this card for the collective? And that's a no. Is this card for the collective? Yes. This card for the collective. Yes. This card for the collective. Yes. And this card for the collective. Perfect. Sometimes that happens. That's why I ask. I think it's just more uh, clarity is all in the reading. That's why I do it. I was guided to do it one day and I've just been doing it ever since. Green Tara, supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond the limitation and find trust. Green Tara has come in really strongly lately uh, with our ground crew. Um, she, she said she's been waiting her turn uh, because we tend to, in the beginning, we were working more with Isis and um, Maggie and Mother Sophia and Kuan Yin and White Buffalo Calf Woman because of the familial connections there. Um, but Green Tara has brought in a lot of wisdom, a lot of healing, and um, she stepped forward with a lot of love. And basically, you know, she's like, uh, stop wallowing in the things you can't change. Just cut those ties and be done with it. Trust your intuition Heal what needs to be healed and, and fully manifest your highest and best timeline. Green Tower's energy is, uh, it's very nurturing. It's very healing. And it is really like a, a go time ener energy. Holy Amethyst, the divine alchemist, move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire. Very similar message. We all have hurdles to overcome. It is up to you to decide whether you want to stay there evaluating to the nth degree of the who's and the what's and the why's or just be done with it because you can't change it. Anything in the past can't be changed. Anything in the future is not set yet. Focus on the now. In the now moment, is it in your highest and best good to cut the cords, all the ties of all the things that gave you pain, gave you uh, heartache, gave you trauma, gave you lessons, but you learned those lessons. So it's time to let them go. Yes. And then you're free, unbound to move forward. Alchemy is just transformation, right? So you're going to transform the hurdle to a bridge. You, you pull out the nails and you lay out the wood and it becomes this nice little bridge over the river you thought you couldn't cross because you did the healing and you did the shadow work. Radha, soul flame, rediscover a lost part of yourself and experience a relationship harmony and healing so obviously this is for uh, soulmates and twin flames this is a big push for these reunions right now and the divine masculine has been 
um, you know, also needing to heal so that it's, it's been pushed and like on pegged out 10 on a 10 for hundreds of years. And so much so that divine masculine has just completely lost it. You know, like if you're, if you're constantly listening to something on max volume, there comes a time where you can no longer hear the softer tones, right? And the, and, and what's being said on the loud volume is also being lost because it's just all loud. So we have to find our balance again, balance forces. We have to find the beauty within and we have to understand that it, allowing in, first of all, allowing in a highest, best timeline being for you. So that means that you did sit with it. You didn't just respond uh, in the flesh. You didn't just say, oh yeah, they're, they're nice looking and they make me laugh and I think I'm going to spend time with them. No, you gave it introspection and you decided, is this in your highest and best on a soul level? not on the flesh level. The flesh is where we've been guided to, to um, satisfy forever. True relationships are built on the energy transferred between the two. And that means it is outside of the flesh. It is more than the flesh. It is, um, it is immortal. It is never ending especially in twin flames and divine soulmates, you find each other life after life after life, no matter what the flesh looks like, no matter what the flesh is doing. So understanding that it is a deeper relationship that you're being called to find, disconnect from the old um, collective ways of, of sharing space and time and energy with beings and truly go inside yourself to know what's best for you and then follow that track. Rediscovering the lost part of yourself really means that you understand who you are and you love who you are so much that another being only adds to it but it could never take away. Like you love yourself in a way that you want to be loved and only you can love yourself that way. No one else can fill that hole. Commander Ashtar, call to action. Take charge, lead by example, and walk your talk. This is a big one. There's a lot of beings that are, you know, in this awakening environment and they're not here for the right reasons. And it's showing their true colors and masks are falling off and showing uh, minute by minute. So be a, a being that's in your integrity. When you make a mistake, own to it. When you have growth to do, admit it. When you need to take your time to understand maybe you were on the wrong path and you're going to course correct now, do it, own it. 100% authenticity is never wrong. The heart and love that leads you through our life is never wrong. When you truly are at a very, very um, vulnerable level, but you're very real with yourself, you go within and you recognize, maybe I have been the hurdle. Maybe I have been the reason why things have not worked out well for me. Maybe it's my judgment. Maybe it's my fear of lack. Maybe it's my fear of being alone. Maybe it's some trauma that I'd have been too fearful to actually do the shadow work on to heal that will open the doors up. And I just haven't done that. So don't shy away from the challenge. Take charge, lead by example, and walk your talk. If you're asking people to um, ascend, if you're asking people to, to go with you as you work through um, ascension and transformation and shadow work, then you have to also be the one to do it um, because you will find that the beings around you are more committed than you are and they surpass you. You find that you're still stuck in fear and judgment and jealousy and they're beyond that. They don't even, they don't even recognize those things. Sorry, I had a delivery. Okay, so now we are going to angels and ancestors. Calling on the angels, archangels, ancestors, soul guides, extensions, emissaries, source creator, Mother Sophia. 
we are asking for our June energy reading message for the collective in this now moment. June energy reading for the collective. Is this card for the collective? Is this card for the collective? Is this card for the collective? And is this card for the collective? Thank you. Okay. Seer, see beyond the current situation. And this, you know, this can be, this looks very, you know, um, abilities, clear abilities and whatnot, psychic wise, but we all have the ability to see beyond what is on the surface that just asking you to go deeper, to see not with just your eyes, but with your third eye, with your heart, feel the energy. Her hands are up to feel the energy, to receive that energy in. Does this feel welcoming? Does this feel benevolent? Does this feel evil does this feel dark does this feel good for me does this feel bad for me where do i feel this do i feel it in my gut see beyond the obvious summer bask in the joy and light i love this card because i just love bees and i love honey and i love all the things that they bring to our life they are integral to the life that we all enjoy to to uh to this very moment, but it also represents vibration and frequency, uh, family, unity, sunshine, light codes, uh, bliss, joy, healing. This is a, a lot of different meanings. Whatever resonates with you, take it. Um, the bees are huge this summer. And we've been communicating with some that visit us and they're so appreciative to all the work that we have done to help clear up Huna Matea. And so um, I love this card. Back, bask in the joy and light. Light brings us healing. It brings us growth. It brings us expansion, right? And so we definitely want to take our glasses off and go out in the sun and allow the sun and the light codes to come in through our eyes and help heal so that we no longer just see what we're shown, but we can see beyond the current situation. Arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. Very important right now. I'm constantly being um, psychically attacked. And it's really just for one main reason, because I work for the divine source creator. I'm doing the work of source creator, which the evil ones really don't like, even though they've lost. I want to be very clear about that. This battle has already been won, but they always want to sling what little arrows they have left. And all it does is show their true colors. Again, the masks come off. We understand exactly who and what you are and your days are numbered. In that, we do have very good protection, protection from the divine. I, I'm not complacent about it. We are not sitting on our laurels. We don't think we're beyond receiving negative energy because we receive negative energy all the time. We just know how to transmute it and use it to our advantage. So if you are feeling that you're also being attacked in your life for speaking your truth, for understanding who and what you are now and wanting to course correct to source and, and make changes in your life, you just have to have your protection up. You have to put your armor on because when we start to align to our highest timeline, those that have been feeding off of us, those ha that have been manipulating us and those ha that don't want to see us succeed are more than happy to send us negative energy. But it should not, and it will not, stop us. Snake, shed the old skin. This is a profound card, in my opinion, because we have been taught that snakes are evil. We have been taught that snakes re represent 
darkness and whatnot. Snakes are also very, very wise. And they shed their skin whenever they outgrow their their confine their confining skin. So when you outgrow who you have been, it's also called radical expansion. You're going to grow beyond the limits your mind has given you. And there is no limit to your ability to grow. You, In other words, you can shed your skin as many times as you need to, to allow for infinite growth. This is also showing us that there are snakes around us that are not shedding their skin because they're actually afraid to grow. They want to stay exactly where they are, doing exactly what they've been doing. And it serves no one. It is not a higher consciousness act. It's not a higher consciousness being. So be aware of what's around you. Do you have, you know, garden snakes that are friendly, that are watching over you? Or do you have pit vipers that are waiting for you to look the other way so that they can take your life? Trust me, they're out there. Knowing the difference is how you navigate the journey. And as you grow, those wonderful snakes that are helping watch over you grow with you. And everyone sheds their skin and goes into their new exoskeleton, their new skin. And they help to house the growth of the energy being that you are, that you become. Because you allowed yourself that radical expansion. You allowed yourself in an aware, awakened and aware state, you understand that you have growth to do, that you have shadow work to do. So you're going to call in your dragons and you're going to step forward and say, I accept the lessons that I need to learn from the pain that has been in my past. I understand it happened for me. It did not happen to me. And as I approach this, I'm going to open my heart chakra. I'm going to open my high heart and I'm going to bypass the manipulated mind so that I can grow so that I can be balanced divine feminine divine masculine inner healed inner child and in that balance I become a force to be reckoned with I become the best of the divine masculine the best of the divine feminine and the fun loving limitless blissful inner child that is a force to be reckoned with Green Tara says, you are protected. The cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. This is just another nod to say, get out of your head. You are your own hurdle. Step over that. Turn the hurdle to a bridge. Cross the path that you thought you could not cross before. The Holy Amethyst Divine Alchemy, move beyond your current challenges. Same thing. Turn the hurdle into a bridge. Transform what you thought was against you and transmute that energy for you evil comes in and you transmute it to love and light and you use that power for the greater good when you do that you rediscover who and what you are when you rediscover who you truly truly are and you're no longer living to an expectation that has been put on you from exterior forces you only have to be in love with yourself to exude love to the world when you truly love yourself it is recognized it's palpable it's felt and it's seen and that is the the most brilliant love anyone can have and i don't mean that in a conceited way we are out of the ego the ego is dead we are truly loving the being that we are the the christ consciousness unity consciousness whole soul being that we are and that means that you're going to be tested and you're going to be challenged. And that's why Commander Ashtar says, don't back down from that challenge. Step forward to that challenge and show them you are a force to be reckoned with. See beyond the facade. See beyond the story that they've been telling you. Understanding that there's much deeper whenever you go within. When you go beyond that, when you scrape the BS off the top and you see the truth, Feel it for what it truly is. When your gut is telling you this is nasty, this is not for you, this does not feel good, this does not feel wholesome, honor that and walk away. Because what is what is lying ahead of you is expansion, growth, healing, vibration, frequency, joy, bliss, health. Every time that you make 
progress for yourself, to better yourself, you're going to have arrows slung at you because that's what the dark does. They don't want you to heal. They don't want you to, to understand that your shadow work makes you stronger. They don't want you to understand that judgment makes, makes you weak. They want you to be like them. And if you want to be in the, in the loser pile, that's where you go. But if you want to ascend and you want to be one with the divine and you want to do what's in your highest and best good, you put your protections in place and the arrows just fall away because there are snakes and snakes do grow and snakes that are growing have to give the honor. You have to give them honor. It's a hard path to be a snake and still grow and shed your skin and be a new snake with more abilities and more wisdom and more strength. But that's what the universe is asking us to do in this now moment. Let's see what our cosmic card has to say. Remove all negative energy from this deck. What is the now moment message for June energies for the collective? Now moment message, June energies for the met the collective. And these, I only do one, one message. Is this the message for the collective? Is this the message for the collective? Let's see. Look around and find some signs. The universe is speaking to you. Look around and find your signs. The universe is speaking to you. There's truth everywhere if you're willing to receive it, if you're willing to accept it and go forward with that. You understand that things have not been what they told us it was. Our history is based on lies. Your future does not need to be. If you would like a Oracle reading with me, please um, email me at healingdisclosuresyt at gmail.com. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you got anything from it and it really truly resonates, I appreciate a tip. My pay links are in the description of this video. And I hope you have a wonderful June and it is full of growth, healing and expansion because nothing can stop what is coming. Have a great day.